guys welcome back happy friday hair day friday so today i'm coming with another review from sultanicals and as you guys know i love sultanicals they are probably one of my favorite um natural hair companies that i just love buying products from them um i have yet to buy a product from them and not like it or fall in love with it so I'll put their information below, definitely check them out. But coming back again with another review, with another product from them that I have bought. Um, so today I'm going to be reviewing their shamp one of their shampoos, and it's their Coconut Rasul Butter Shampoo. Um, it's a heavy shampoo butter cream. And yeah. So I'm going to be doing this one. I haven't, so FYI, I have not done a shampoo yet from Sultanicals. Um, just again, because every time I go on their website before, it was always out of stock. But they have restocked their um, products. And I think they're re trying to restock weekly or at least every other week. So definitely check them out. And definitely if you see the products on there that you want, you might want to jump on that because they do tend to sell out very quickly. Um, so I will be reviewing this one today. And I also will be reviewing another product that I'm going to show you. And this is the shampoo. And then I'm also going to be reviewing today um, their moisturizing, which is called Can't Believe It's Not Pumpkin. And this is from their fall collection. So this is this one right here. If my camera focuses, please focus. And it's not wanting to focus, but that's what that looks like. Um, they are both eight ounce containers. Um, and I'll show you what the shampoo looks like. Um, I have used this already, which you'll see in the video. So this is obviously not a first opening, first reaction of it, but it's gonna be as closest to it because it is what it is. Um, so smelling it again, love the smell. It smells like chocolate because that's what it is. Uh, it just smells like a really good, like, uh, like a hot cocoa is what it smells to me. And I love it. Like it's not, um, overpowering or anything for me. That's what the container looks like. I'll stick my finger in it so you can see it. And it's literally like a buttercream. Like it's not jelly like or gel like or anything it's literally like like if i wasn't if i didn't know that this was like a shampoo i probably would have thought it was like a moisturizing or like a cream for your hair so that's this one and yeah so i'm gonna do this one and then this is the can't believe it's not pumpkin so Again, this is from their fall collection. And I'm not really big on pumpkin smells, but I obviously I wanted to try this because um, most of the products that I have reviewed from the Sultanicals, they don't have a strong pumpkin smell. So this is why this sold me on it, or it doesn't have a strong smell. So this is why I bought the products because I was thinking like, it's not gonna have a strong pumpkin smell, I should be okay. So, smelling it, it is strong for me, but I also think because it's in the jar, it's just going to be like a maximized smell. Um, so, I'm trying not to take that part into like consideration, considering that it is in a jar. So, the smell is going to be maximized. But, um, it smells pumpkin, but it also reminds me of like a chai tea. And I love chai teas, so I'm just going to let that slide. So this is what it looks like in the jar. Very white, very creamy. Um, this is the texture of it, which my camera doesn't want to work with me today. Sorry, guys. But this is the texture of it. So it's not, it's very creamy, very thick. Um... This was also another product that I have not reviewed from Sultanicals. Most of the products, as you see, that I have reviewed from Sultanicals are mostly deep conditioners. So I have not yet tried any other shampoos or any other styling 
products so this will be a first time for me obviously that's why i'm recording it for you guys so these are the products that i am reviewing today and i will give you guys my final review after these videos of me demoing the products so i will see you guys later hey guys so welcome back so as you see i have the sultanical shampoo and the texture of it is very creamy, very smooth. So it was very easy to work through my hair as you can see right now. Um, I will say it was a very good product to detangle my hair in. Um, the only thing I didn't understand or get really was that it didn't really lavender up like a shampoo like I couldn't really get that soap in and I did try uh, as you can see in the video I'm like detangling my hair right now and yo guys it was so smooth so easy I was probably like the best product to detangle my hair ever I have never had a smooth process with detangling my hair um, so as you see I'm just working the back part of my hair getting that detangled and massaging it into my hair, rinsing it out, and I was trying to get the soap part in, like trying to work it in, so I was wetting it and trying to get it in, but it just, I don't know, for some reason, it just was not working. Um, and then I was just reading the label to make sure that that's what it actually said it was supposed to do, and clearly it did not work for me, but I'm working through other parts of my hair, getting that soaked up and, you know, washing it and, um, so as you can see, like it literally was just very easy. Like I'm putting a product in my hair, getting it to my scalp, and again, detangling my hair. This was probably one of, again, one of the best products to detangle my hair in. Like I never had such an easy time to detangle my hair with this product. So for me, first impressions with this product was definitely a good one. Um, like I said, it's just did not soap up like I was wanting it to and like I was expecting it to soap up but other than that it wasn't it's not a bad product so I'm gonna let you guys get finished watching this and then I will come back for the final review all right I'll see you guys later Hey guys, so okay, I can see. Hey guys, so I'm back. So I rinsed out my hair as you saw in the video. And first feel from this shampoo is it feels good. Like I'm probably going to forego deep conditioning my hair just to see how the shampoo does in itself. Um but I have to say my hair feels good. This is what it's looking like. And it feels really, really good. So today I'm gonna use their Cannot Believe, or sorry, I'm going to be using their Can't Believe It's Not Pumpkin. So this is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Very creamy. We know how CC likes her creamy products. And first smell, I'm not liking it. It's, it's like a very strong pumpkin spice smell, which I don't know if I would like my hair to smell like this. Um, so I'm very nervous about putting this in my hair i do like the texture of it and everything but the smell is what's throwing me off so you guys know i don't like strong smells when it comes to my products because i just don't like smells that overpower and i can smell for a long time and i feel like 
this is going to be that product that I'm going to smell forever. And it has a strong pumpkin spice smell. And I'm not a big fan of pumpkin, but obviously I wanted to try it because this is in their fall collection. Um, so I wanted to try it. And I'm hoping for the best. So I'm just going to do a simple twist out. And I'm just going to do one for you guys because, again, no one wants to sit and watch me do a twist out in my hair because that will probably take forever. So I'm going to use a little bit, work through my hair, make sure I'm getting my ends because we all know CC hair is playing a catch-up game with being dry on the ends. So it's not bad, it kind of, so the smell is a pumpkin spice, but it actually reminds me of a chai tea. So it doesn't really smell too bad now that I put it in my hair. But it kind of reminds me of like a chai tea. So I'm just going to go with that because I'm not a big fan of pumpkin spices. Um... So yeah, so my ends feel really good. So hopefully that this will be a good product that I can use that's a creamy texture. And I'm putting this on wet hair because I can't do my hair when it's dry. So that's why my hair is wet, guys. So yeah, so that's that. So yeah, it doesn't smell too bad. So yeah, and so far I like it. So I'm gonna get finished styling my hair and then I'll come back with the final review on how I like the shampoo and how I like the styling cream. Hey guys, so welcome back. So I love the shampoo. Um, I will say the only thing I did not like about the shampoo was that I felt like I didn't really get a good soap on the shampoo. Um, so with the Coco Rasol Butter Shampoo, and I hope I'm saying that name right, and if I am like butchering it, let me know because I think I'm saying it right, but um, I felt like I didn't get a good soap out of it. And normally with the shampoos that I use, I like to make sure that like, I don't know, I just like to see like some soap, like some suds or whatever. And I didn't feel like I got this out of this one. So to me, I feel like I could use it as like a good wash and go. But I still love everything about it. Like it, it still did everything that it said it was going to do just besides the soap part for me. Like it moisturized my hair. It was easy. It was really easy to detangle my hair. Um, it left my hair feeling clean. I think I so um, washed it like at least two times. Um, but it was really easy. Like I was able to like get into my, you know, scalp and like massage it and, you know, clean it like. I felt like it did everything, you know, just besides the whole, you know, getting the soap part into there and like getting like it soapy, I guess the word is. Um, that was like the only part I felt like it was it really missed the mark for me. But was that needed? No, but I feel like if you're calling it a shampoo, that it should be able to get the soap part going in there um for me I, like I said I'll probably use this as a wash and go because I feel like I feel like for me that was pretty much what it was for me um but I did like everything about it I like that one thing I did like is I felt like I really didn't need to use a deep conditioner after this which is one of the things that they say in their instructions is that you probably won't have too deep condition or pit conditioner in your hair so i didn't do it just because i wanted to see how my hair will feel afterwards and it feels glorious yo it felt my hair felt so soft afterwards like it felt really soft softer than like my hair has never felt that soft with using a shampoo so i definitely like this product i definitely you know, I love the smell of it. Like, it smells like chocolate. 
and the fact that it's in my hair like I can smell that for days and be just fine it wasn't overpowering it's a creamy texture which we all know that I like so I definitely would say try them out um if they have it on hair again it is an eight ounce but I feel like I can get at least maybe three maybe even four more uses out of this so that's saying a lot because normally with sultanical products I can only get like one and a half uses out of it because I have only used their deep conditioners but for eight ounce and if I can get three uses out of this then to me it's, it's really worth it um so yeah, so I definitely do like this. I think for me, like I said, I would probably use this more as a wash and go just because I wasn't able to get like any, like the soapy parts in there. Um, but I think I would still use it. It would still go in my closet and my toolbox of things that I use. So definitely try them out. I'll put the information below for this one. I believe that this was $16.00. If not, I'll put the right price here somewhere, but I believe that it was $16. So not bad for that price. So then the next one up for review is, can't believe it's not pumpkin. Now, I'm not big on pumpkin spices. So the main reason why I ordered this was because it was from their fall collection and i wanted to try more styling products from them and more shampoos because we already know i love their deep conditioners like love their deep conditioners so we already know that part but i like i said I never try any of their shampoos or it or any of their styling products so i wanted to give this a go so i'm not a big fan of pumpkin but it doesn't really smell like pumpkin to me. Like I said earlier, it smells like a chai tea to me. So I try to just keep that in my mind. But then I also keep in my mind is that the smell is strong. But I'm thinking that it's mostly due to it being in a small jar. Once I put this in my hair when I did the twist out, my hair felt well moisturized. I felt it was very easy coating my hair. Um... What I did like is that my hair didn't do flakes. Um, so the big reason why I stopped using like creamy styling products um, early on is because I always felt like they always leave like white marks or white residue in my hair. And that's with me not even using a lot. So I made sure not to use a lot of this one. And the next day when I took the twist out, this is how it is. This is like not the next day. This is like two days afterwards. But my hair still feels well moisturized. I'll probably put some more in it today. Um, but this is going on like day two. And there's no flakes in my hair as you can see. So I feel like this was a good product to, for me to use. <clears throat> Sorry. For me to use um so i didn't really have i don't really have any issues with this i feel like my hair was well moisturized it was very creamy um the smell again it's it's strong for me but once i put it in my hair i really didn't even smell it that much i still smell the shampoo in my hair so i'd rather take this smell over this smell but this smell wasn't that overpowering to me once i put it in my hair so I definitely say try them out like I I don't know I don't have anything bad to say I think rating I think for the shampoo I would give an eight just because of the soapy part like it really didn't soak up like I wanted it to with being a shampoo but no I'll give it an 8.5 because for me the soapy part wasn't a big deal, but I feel like if you're going to call it shampoo, it should soap up like shampoo. Um, but I will use it as a wash and go, like I said. I like everything else, like loved everything else. It, Like I said, it moisturized my hair so well. It, my hair was so soft afterwards. It was so easy to detangle. So I will say I'll give it an, an 8.5. Yeah, that's me, an 8.5. I love it. Um, and with this one, with the moisturizing styling product, can't believe it's not pumpkin. I think for me, I think I would give it an eight. Like, it was, it's nice, but <clears throat> I don't know. Like, I don't, 
I feel like my hair is well soft, well moisturized. So I feel like it's a product to wear. Yeah, I can put it in my toolbox, but is it? A, I don't. I don't know if it's a product that I really need to put in my toolbox just yet. Um, Cause I feel like it moisturized my hair, but then I feel like when I put oils in my hair, they do the same too. So I don't know. I'm still on. I guess. I don't know. I mean, I guess I would give it. I would give it a an eight. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm not gonna say I'm in love with it because I think it's just the smell that I'm really not crazy about. But the fact that it's a thick, creamy product, the fact that it's, you know, I feel like it moisturized my hair very well. It was very easy for me to put my hair in a twist and go to sleep and then the next day take it out. Um, so, yeah. So that's that one. I, I mean, they're great products. I love Sultanical. So, um, so yes. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Sorry if this video was long, but thank you guys for staying to the end. As always, guys, thank you guys for your support and you, you guys commenting below. It really means a lot. And I'm just very grateful that you guys are supporting this channel. So thank you. Um, if you guys could subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit that like button, that would be awesome. And also, guys, share this video. I would, I want to get to 100 subscribers, so if you guys could just share this video away, that would be awesome as well. And I greatly appreciate it, so thank you guys. And as always, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and enjoy the journey, and I'll see you guys next Friday. All right? Bye.